In this video, I will be talking about the Three Kingdoms period of China, focusing on the many talented heroes of that time. Huang Zhong A veteran among veterans, a man whose skill in combat is said to have only improved with age, which is a remarkable feat considering he lived until he was 72. He is famously remembered as one of the Five Tiger Generals of Shu, and for his victory over the talented Wei General Zia Hao Yuan at the Battle of Mount Dingjun. He spent his early years serving under the warlord Liu Biao, who governed Jing province from the years 192 up until the year 208, when he died of illness. It was fortunate for Tao Tao that Liu Biao's youngest son, Liu Kong, inherited his father's titles and not his eldest, for he was weak and surrendered Jing province when Tao Tao's armies invaded. Huang Zhong was appointed as a major general as he continued his task of defending the city Changsha under the government official Han Xuan. The Battle of Red Cliffs unfolded in the same year where the joint forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan were victorious. This left Jing province up for grabs so to speak as the Shu and Wu forces hastily took control of its commanderies. Liu Bei's forces arrived at Changsha but Han Shuan was reluctant to surrender despite urges from Huang Zhong or the locals who also favoured Liu Bei, presumably because he was a distant relative of their former ruler, Liu Biao. Han Shuan eventually gave in, so Huang Zhong now found himself serving under Liu Bei. Between the years 212 and 214, Liu Bei found himself conflicted to follow Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdoms strategy. He was urged by his advisors to use their army's high morale fresh troops and stockpiled supplies from Jing to fuel a campaign into the neighbouring Yi province. The campaign went against Liu Bei's conscience as it involved deceiving his relative Liu Zhang who was the current governor of the area. The Shu forces marched through Yi to the northern border under the pretense of engaging a neighbouring warlord Zhang Lu. Liu Zhang even donated more troops to the Shu army as they passed through and the people rallied to Liu Bei's popularity. On the northern border, Liu Bei halted his advance. He spent a short while setting up a spy network, preparing with Liu Zhang's officer, Zhang Song, for the takeover. An outraged Liu Zhang eventually learned of the betrayal, and had Zhang Song executed. Liu Bei's network reported on these events, which soon led to war. Liu Bei benevolently treated the officers and their families that accepted his bribes of surrender as he marched towards the region's capital of Chengdu. Huang Zhong fought in two major battles before Liu Zhang eventually surrendered to Liu Bei at Chengdu, where after he was promoted to general who attacks rebels for his brave spearheaded charges into enemy ranks and how hastily he scaled the enemy city's walls, paving the way for regular troops. Fast forward to the year 217 where Liu Bei launched a northern campaign against Tao Tao, seeking to claim control of Han Zhong Commandery, a strategically important mountainous location in between the Wei and Shu factions. The commanding enemy general, Zia Hao Yuan, fiercely resisted the Shu forces for over a year, utilising the terrain, hit-and-run tactics and night raids on Shu supply lines, until one fated night in the year 219. Liu Bei led his main force and pressed an attack on the Wei camp at the foot of Mount Dingjun, simultaneously setting fire to their palisade wall and surrounding the camp. Huang Zhong led his unit up a mountain path to seize control of its peak, unnoticed while Zia Hao Yuan and Zhang He were preoccupied guarding each of the two camp gates. Huang Zhong led a glorious charge down the steep of the mountain towards the enemy. Accompanied by the sound of beating war drums, his forces crushed the faltering Wei units against the Shu main army, resulting in the complete decimation of Zia Hao Yuan and his unit. Huang was promoted the general who attacks the west in recognition for his valour. The now self-proclaimed king of Han Zhong, Liu Bei, wanted to elevate Huang Zhong to General of the Rear, an esteemed rank which was also held by Guan Yu, Zhang Fei and Ma Chao. In the romanticised version of events, this retinue is known as the Five Tiger Generals and also includes Xiao Yun. Liu Bei's advisor, Zhu Ge Liang, warns that when Guan Yu learns of this, he could grow envious as he is stationed far away in Jing province and has not seen nor heard of Huang Zhong's deeds. Liu Bei dealt with that by vouching for Huang Zhong, presumably in a letter. The details of Huang Zhong's death are not known, but he passed away in the year 220. Forty years later, Liu Bei's heir and son, Liu Shan, posthumously awarded Huang Zhong 
with a title that translated to Unyielding Marquis. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.